Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalom Malawson. Coming up on today's bulletin, the Harara City Council begins consultation for next year's budget. The Women in Aid Support Network provide key information on health services. A Harara-based musician is taking over his father's band. And Zimbabwe football legend George Shire talks to ATV about the modern game. The Harara City Council has started consultation for next year's budget. Residential groups are pressing the council to allocate more resources to improving water supplies, refuse collection and road maintenance. Our reporter Muchaneda Chimuga attended the meeting. Kanzuri Gudari Arari Yakaita Musanga no Neva Miriri Viva Garivemo, Ishiva Zivisa Nishurongwa we budget regular 2012 Kushka 2018. Iri based on what they call results based management. Dumnon got results based budgeting union. It's like it's just see an image budget right out of Gudari, you can find it. Each department is not going to rush or no da to go to rush or asset equals no Tagutari Sao to you and government. So good in the government to sort of cheat. Their 2020 vision, we told the mid-term plan of government, you put it on millennium development goals as you know government. It's also, it's also the government, it's also the council, it's the vision you do. And there are no genes, you could do one ever get away from Harare. It's not one ever, but basically, we're just going to go to the road. We're going to go to the road. Wabo, antitika, utrasi wa wakati kutaringira kachina, nedi kongesien, zinuzi zinuzi kuri zozuri, zinachia wana tibaje trendi, ra 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 trai kuzi address. Ba mireri vivano mungu tava no tara shiche mo vivano. Kana zogu the city of Warare is actually recognizing the first priority in of our gate of my residence, but chiri kwa ndicho kuti chuo chuo kutanga, ndicho ma consultative meetings and kachi tuani city of Warare, hapa huu mekuwa shuo wa kuti ma consultative meetings are ayaso budi ni lava nwa nyaso consult wa wanu apa their input, because it is about the people who need to sit in the participatory democratic tendency at grassroots level, because issue city of Harare is the issue of our it's issue of one, each and every implication a budget in its impact towards my residents. We commend the city of Harare for the first time in the last three years that the inclusive government has been established. They have come out in the open to say they want to engage. We commend them for that effort. However, we are concerned on the issues of prioritization of projects and how they seek to relate implementation and what they have budgeted to do. Kanzuru ya arare ino garoshoru wa nevano pa msakape kukundikana kuzadi saa shudosha avo shino sanga nisira kuwani kwa kwe mvura kutakura kwe marara kuya neku gaziro kwe mikuwa kwa. Dini mtorwe na we ATV, ndini muarare Zimbabwe. The Women in AIDS Support Network has started conducting a health survey with the participation of local people in order to provide information on the constraints facing rural women when it comes to accessing health services. Muchaneta Dachimuka went to Gokwe to find out more. Sangano re Women in Aid Support Network rageta msangano kujisa madzima kuti vagone kuita ongororo mairerano nenye yadze utano. Ongororo ii icha itu kwa mjimbo yeko kwe central. Sizizo shataka itapa msoro pechwa kuruzo kana atava kuno. Tijano zizi sawa nupa msoro pe utano. Tijano kuruzi lawa na mai waka shutakura kutu waende wa kuno utoro wa Europa. Waka shutakura kuruzi vila utashona. Tijano kuruzi lawa kakare wana mai kutu wabaye sewa na wawo. Shakuru zira kakare uzana na mkati mezimba. Shakuru zira kutibanu wa 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 shande na simba utivara na mesha kanaka. Shave ni chakuru. Yiku tichi zive, shaka zida kupasule, shakuru zive, shiku. Chika zide utano wedu. Ita wazituwa ni petie wate ni papu ura rama kwedu. Chanyaya kundiba sira shukuru. Na uguti ini, ili uya anuzitisana ni majuma ima support groups. Saka chandanya nyanda uona chunoti basira. Ndecho kutizo madzimai, haku nyato ndwisisa, haku pinda mkati masiri, uwe haku siwa mata mpuko ese anurawana. Banota waranizu kukosha kwe ongororo ii. 
ndanyanya kufara zvikuru netsi ayenda wana pa workshop ye Wasim e ndave neruzivo kokuti kana ndadzokera kumusha ndichano kwanisa kutora nevamwe tichibatsirana maerano no upenyu hatare kurara mamazvano ndanyanya kufarira zvikuru Ndeche kuti unguru ya iti wa munumu, ya iti wa nesuwa rizwe munumu kukwe. Tinozi wa shwakati na kirani shwakati pira. Saka panakati shigazi za njumbo yedu, plus mashokati cha taura isu. Na ezwa yibira uta hinda ukumsoroku. Ano gaziriswa, shonguru kwa. Tiguwana shunotibazi sama nguwana, tiguwana mindro yedu. Ini shandanya ya kufari rapa unguru ya indoe kuti ndawana umorusiwo. Mwikiza ni unu ita research. Mwakatime shiruere. Ini nishano nye ya kusecha, nituku nye ya kufana vechikoro. Vana plazi ya mawemu. Muguru wa Sangano Ire, anu taurachina nguwa chavo. We have been running programs that have been responding to HIV and AIDS. And we have found that there are gaps here and there. And we really want to identify those gaps with the communities so that we respond according to the communities. Kana ungororo zemando yi zikaramba zichi itwa, zishaba tira shukuru wa garewe gumaro wa warukure ni shupatara. Dini mtorwe na uwe ATV, ndiri muarare, Zimbabwe. A Harare-based musician is reviving his father's musical legacy by taking over the band which his dad used to play with. Jairo Saunyama reports. Potifa Mopo, the eldest son of yesteryear musician Mike Mopo, has taken over his father's band Zinawa. This comes after his father, who last released an album in 2003, announced his retirement from music to venture into business. ATV caught up with Potifa, who narrated how he took over his father's band. I was told that I was in 2003, and I was in 2003, and I was in Uye apo ni papu bane zungu nguwa zwa indipa mkana kuti ndite mashoz iwa wasi ipo saka. Ndakona kuti panewa ripuwese ndini ndaiva ndini zwama ndiri ndendo kwa nisa kuzuhita. To mark his presence on the music scene, Potifa has released a six track album titled Runyararo which is receiving fair airplay on local radio stations. Pane masongza aruguri kweza wano waluto kumbira tukuda nesangu, tukuda runyararo, tukuda kwedu. Zinu zinuundi paza na kuti si alba mna kuti anga na singata si kuti nchapa na shukia pasi zirukwe zirukwe ita. He has also embarked on a mission to reignite interest into his father's yesteryear music. Tanga June, taka mboti pambi, munu kinyaya munu marare, kurumonzi, tika inda kuna na shinoi, maji manja wa sunda pirata atiri pa chubu, awan wakura za kuchambira zwa kanaka. He is working with some of his father's band members. Manyu members warimo, uyo wa mwaka mshana na mdara wari kuita wakumana wa mtamba wa waso za chose as two farmers wakana. It remains to be seen whether or not Potifa will be able to fill his father's shoes and put Zinawa back on the country's musical scene. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe soccer legend George Shire, who was popular for his ball wizardry and dribbling skills, has traveled down memory lane, comparing soccer from his era with today's game. Robert Tafumane spoke to him at his home. George Shire, Zimbabwe's greatest soccer player ever and one of a few persons to have won the Soccer Star of the Year title a record five times, says, Gone are the days when soccer players used to mesmerize fans with their skills and sportsmanship. The Dynamo soccer legend says although his parents used to discourage him from playing football, he made it to the top through his skills and love for the game. Especially my father didn't want me to play football. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want me to play football, but uh, during the later, year, the later years, when I was playing for Dynamos, uh, he used to come and watch me. Now I was his proud son. He said in the past they did not have professional coaches unlike today, where players get a lot of support and motivation from various professionals. You know, when we were playing uh, uh, football, we didn't have uh, uh, like uh, what they are having now is coaches. My coach was my best playmate. 
because we used to tell each other where to stand, how to play. But uh, unfortunately, those days we did have coaches. Although Shaya became a household name at the peak of his career, earning himself the nickname The Mastermind, the man says there were other players better than him. I would say that time it was teamwork. It was teamwork. You you will find when we were training just uh, behind uh, Rufaro, that's where we used to train. Either we had the, the late Steven Chimeza or the late Daniel. Look here, when you've got the ball here, I was supposed to be there. Why do, can you try to put the ball? Then we'll try and do it again, trying to do it again, do it again until we make the, the exercise is complete. Shaya also talked about the use of juju in soccer, a topical subject in football in Zimbabwe and most other African countries. Uh, it's a tribal thing. Some people believe in that. But uh, what, because we never put that in our minds, but of course some of our elders, of course, they tried to give. I remember last, when we played here, was it Tornadoes? We were given some uh, few mooties, but uh, that day we lost 3-1. George Chaya played for Dynamos and Rhodesia national team in the 60s and 70s and is considered to be the best player ever in Zimbabwe. Reporting for ATV, Robert Afmani, Arare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.